well-known streamer who goes by Dr. Disrespect has just been accused of being a minor, which is obviously a disgusting and very, very, very serious allegation. All right, so Dr. Disrespect used to be a huge streamer on Twitch. He was even contracted with them the whole nine yards. And then randomly in 2020, he was kicked off and his contract was axed. And he has spent the last four years literally rebuilding his entire audience on other platforms like YouTube. And since 2020, nobody has really known what happened between him and Twitch. All anybody knew was that it was abrupt. So imagine everyone's surprised when randomly earlier this weekend, a random former Twitch employee employee, Cody Connors, posted this on X. He said he got banned because he got caught a minor in the then existing Twitch Whispers product. He was trying to meet up with her then at TwitchCon. The powers that be could read in plain text. Case closed, gang. And to make matters worse, Dr. Disrespect didn't make things any easier for himself when he basically tweeted, Were there Twitch Whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Oh! Ew! Dude! What the fu- But then, the really unfortunate and disappointing thing is the fact that why is it that when people are on the verge of success or are like really doing well in their careers, they tend to self-sabotage? I think I like little kids, bro. I think I like little kids and there's nothing you can do about it. But why? I don't know. I just felt like it was time to ruin my career. The guy had a loyal fan base. He was doing well on Twitch. He was gonna get a contract with YouTube and then... Now my life... Ah! You know, my personal theory is I think that money has the ability to expose a person's true character. Just like that quote that says, if you want to test a man's character, give him power. And of course, on top of being saddened and disappointed by what has transpired, I also think it's a good idea for us to take a step back and reflect. If I was in Dr. Disrespect's position and I was earning crazy amounts of money, would I still be able to maintain my character? Could I still be trusted? Could I still be the dependable person that people know me to be? Would I still be disciplined where i still be humble you know we all want to be successful but being successful is worthless if it will only hasten your destruction yeah now listen that's called motherfucking bars nigga oh, this is impossible what's wrong over here the new elden ring dlc is way too hard what yeah they made the game like a million times harder and now it's impossible to beat we're talking about elden ring right yeah the game made from from software the same people who made dark souls bloodborne and sekiro that's right all of which including elden ring are known to be difficult games that is what they're known for so isn't the game being hard kind of the point well yes and i understand but the DLC is just so much harder than the base game. Isn't it always like that? What? Yeah, isn't the DLC always like a whole new level of difficulty compared to the base game? Normally they are. So you have a game made by people who are known for making hard games and DLC that is known to be harder than the base game. Correct. And you're complaining that it's too hard. Also correct. Let me ask you, if the DLC was the same level as Elden Ring, would you be complaining that it's too easy? Probably. Yeah, this seems like a more internal problem. I can't help you. Okay, but there's gotta be some trick to beat this mesmer boss guy i don't know man maybe just get good what the fuck I'm honestly not surprised that Elden Ring is being lambasted with negative reviews by these so-called critics or game reviewers. I think we're at a point in time where if game journalists don't like your game, that is seen as a badge of honor. You know for a fact that you're doing something right. Still, a Blade was hated and lambasted and spanked by critics. Why? It was an objectively good game and it had a beautiful female character as the protagonist. Black Myth Wukong. Apparently, the developers were sexists and who knows what else, which is a lie. And then now we have Elden Ring. When Elden Ring showed up, it proved that the Western formula for making video games is insufficient and outdated. If your game is being hated by video game journalists, just know that you're doing the right thing. That's not ridiculous. That's not ridiculous to say that. Non-stop pop FM. My favorite childhood memory was building sandcastles with my granddad until my mother took his ashes away. Now I just sit by the beach, wondering if part of him is still out there, making friends with the fish. Oh, these guys, they're trying so hard right now. They're probably turning their cheats on. I hear their little keyboards clicking. <laughs> Bro, your clan tag is Kate. You're so irrelevant. Shut up. Hey, you know what? You don't talk about Kate like that. <laughs> you don't even know her. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you're fucking I love that little laugh, dude. I can't. <laughs> You stay out of Kate's DMs and she didn't hit your DMs. I know that's for sure. <laughs>
Oh, sorry, guys. I have a nervous tick. <laughs> Not my fault. It's just the way God made me. <laughs> oh, two is pushing left. Two pushing left. Let's go two pushing left. Rush. I'm crying, bro. Is there a Russian guy on our team now? Where did he come from? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Guys, don't make fun of my lap. I have a nervous tick, okay? Uh -huh. I can't help it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Bro, I don't laugh at perfect. Oh, I just got killed because I was exploring. <laughs> I was just exploring. Bro, you fucking. Come on. Can I play? I'm in the middle of a game. Let me play one game. No, not right now. I'm in the middle Let of a game. Let me play. Hey, stop! No, 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 no. Okay, fine. No, you can play. No, 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 no. Don't. Stop. 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 Here, here. You can play. You can play. Not a hustle, man. Marvel Studios went from being the king of Hollywood to the jester because everything has completely gone downhill for Marvel Studios as a company. Everything that they are putting out at this point is pretty much just garbage, which doesn't really surprise me. They're under the Disney umbrella. Pretty much anything that Disney touches is just complete trash at this point. But now everything just got even worse for Captain America 4, which is going to be obviously the first film where we see uh, a completely new Captain America with none other than the, the man himself, Falcon, taking on the role of Captain America. It's absolutely just crazy stuff, what they ha have already kind of admitted is going to be happening in this film. And we saw that some of the test audience screenings were not very favorable to this movie. A lot of people walked out, a lot of people were upset with the test screenings. And now, after all of that, they are saying that they are reshooting basically the entire movie. Which is going to put this movie up to like a $400 million budget, which is going to make this even more difficult for them to make any money back whatsoever for this film. All I have to say is, if this movie flops, Please, get what you deserve. this thing, it doesn't make sense, guy. Falcon cannot be Captain America because the super soldier serum could not be replicated. It only worked on Captain America. That's what makes him special. If you wanted to replace Captain America, you could... They should have at least given the mantle to Bucky. Why not just make a movie, a solo movie starring Falcon? Well, you see, this is why. This is why we can't have nice things, Barry. You asshole! Anyway, as usual, thank you, you awesome, fantastic people for tuning in and for uh, liking and subscribing and supporting my content, giving my life a bit of meaning. Remember, stay frosty and VWIW. Vote with your wallet.